This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. As I'm pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, there's one thing that gets requested more than anything else. And believe it or not, it's traffic cones, okay? I know there are some uh, tutorials out there. My approach is slightly different, so uh, check it out. Here we go. Okay guys, well let's get started. So we're in uh, Maya 2016 today instead of 2017 uh, for the simple reason that 2017 is a bit flaky at the moment. It tends to uh, freeze up and so forth. So for this video, I'm gonna use 2016, but don't worry, it should be exactly the same, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into our perspective view and I'm gonna take a uh, polygon cylinder. I'm gonna hit Control A to pull up the attribute editor. And I'm going to go in into Poly Cylinder 1 and let's set the subdivision level to 60. Now, this is not going to be part of my model. It's just a circular reference. So I'm going to hit W, push it down like that. And then we're going to take a polygon cube. We're going to hit R and we're going to scale that up. I'm going to jump into my top view and I'm going to hit R to scale it back a little. Now, this is going to be our base plate and the circle will be the widest diameter of our cone shape, okay? So I'm happy with this proportion here. That looks okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to my perspective, right-click on a face, drag select all the faces with the exception of the top one. So I got that, all right? I'm gonna select that face. I'm gonna hit Control E to extrude and R to scale in. Like so. And I'm going to jump back to my top view and I'm going to scale that in until the edges reach my cylinder. Okay? You know what I mean. All right. Now, once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to right click at a face, only select the face in the middle, and hit W and start to pull that up until you get kind of an angle like this. All right. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to select the face on the bottom and hit delete. So I kind of get this elevated thing here. That's all, all right? Okay, so what next? I'm gonna jump back to my uh, top view and I'm gonna go into Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop, Option Box, Multiple, and set that to one. Now, whenever you do that, that um, what it will do is it will place that one uh, edge in the middle, regardless of where you click. And so I'm gonna click somewhere around here and I'll place one in the middle. I'll do the same here. And then I'm gonna add a few more. Now in this case, it's gonna be the middle between this one and the one that has an uh, angle. So it's gonna create something looking like this, like this, this, and this. Okay. I'm happy with how that looks. So I'm gonna hit Q on my keyboard to get out of that tool. Because if I do not, uh, I'll be creating edges and edges and so forth. And uh, let's see, once we got that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to uh, create that circular shape. So we're gonna jump back in right here and we're gonna go to Vertex. And you can see that my uh, lasso tool is on, so I need that one, yeah. We're gonna right click, we're gonna go to Vertex and I'm gonna start to drag select the vertices on the corners, those four, okay? We're gonna hit R, we're gonna bring them in towards our circle, a bit more, like so. And then we're gonna take this one, this one, and we're gonna repeat that. Oops, not too much, just the ones we need, like that. And we're gonna hit R and we're gonna bring that in like so okay so now that we have that we can go in right click the object mode select our cylinder get rid of it okay cool all righty so now that we have this we can right click our vertex uh, sorry face and we're going to select these faces right here Hit four for wireframe mode so we can check and make sure we didn't hit anything else. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control E to extrude, and W to pull up. So pull that up slightly. We're gonna hit Control E again to extrude again, R to scale in again. 
like so. And then we're going to hit Control E again and W to pull up for now. All right. Then what we're going to do is, uh, let's see, we're going to go into Insert Edge Loop again. Add one right there. Q on our keyboard. Double click on the top one. Hit R and bring that one in. And then hit W and push it down a bit. And then we'll do the same with this one. We'll hit R and scale that in a bit. Now the best way to do this is from this angle. So let's try that. And we want it to look a little bit curved. So we're gonna double click on that one. Hit W to move that down a bit. And R to scale that out a bit. That's basically that. Okay. Still looks all right. Okay, good. good. Then we're going to go in, we're going to right click the edge, we're going to double click on that bottom edge, hit Control E to extrude, and W to pull down, like this. And then we need to kind of break these little corners here, and I want to have little sections that go up right here, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to right click the edge, and I'm going to select that one, that one, that one, and that one. And we're gonna to go to Edit Mesh and Bevel. And it's at 0 0.5, which basically looks perfect. And you can see that it now has created that little triangle there. And uh, a triangle is not an end gone, so it shouldn't be an issue, but we are gonna check our mesh later on. So we're gonna right click, go to Face, and I'm gonna select these faces here, three and Four. We're going to hit Control E to extrude, and W to push up, like so. Maybe a bit less. We don't want to overdo it. Let's see how far we want to go. Come on. There we go. Two about there. All right couple of little tweaks we need to make. First, what we're going to do is we're going to right click at our vertex and we're going to grab these vertices on the corner. And these as well. We're going to hit R to flare them in slightly and W to push them down slightly, okay? Not quite there yet. Now we're gonna do the same with these. Come on, just hit four so I can see it better, yeah. So we got that, I'm gonna do the same here. Here, and do the same here. Okay, hit four for wireframe mode to do a quick check to make sure that we didn't get anything that we shouldn't. Hit five to go back. I'm gonna hit R to flare them out slightly. And we shouldn't have to push them down too much because I kinda wanna keep that shape, all right? Okay, cool. So now that we have that, we're going to right click, go to Vertex. I'm going to drag select all the top vertices. We're going to jump to this view, hit W, push that up until we have the height that we like. Hit R, scale that in. And then we can decide on the height and whether we're happy with that height or not. Okay. So let's see. I think it's uh, not bad. 
All right, so now what we can do is go in, in our top view, and we're basically going to take these vertices, right click vertex, so these, and we're gonna kind of flare them out to mimic that round-ish shape again, okay? Then we're gonna go in and we're gonna go into face mode, delete those, and then right click, go to edge, double click on that, control E to extrude and W to push down. Let's see if I got everything, yeah. Depending on the angle you're gonna be looking at it, you can decide to push that down a little bit more or less, but that's basically it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in to enter edge loop again, it's set to one and we'll add one right there. Actually, I can't because of that bevel, so that's fine. We'll do it this way. We'll go in from here. We're gonna right click, go to vertex. Actually, let's think. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go to edge. So select that and then deselect that like so. Okay, and I'm gonna hit Control E to extrude, R to scale out just slightly, G to repeat last command, and W to push it down, like that. Okay, nice. Okay, what else? So we got all that. Uh, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna right click at object mode, and then we're gonna go in to, let's shut this down, to, uh, give me one sec to soften edge, okay? Now, depending on where and how you're gonna texture this, um, you may have some issues, like here, the artifacts. So what you can also do is go back, and I'm mainly interested in this area right here. So under edge, I'm gonna select this, and we're gonna go to soften edge which makes it look much, much better. All right, so now that we have that, I want to uh, texture this guy in Keyshot. And uh, before I do that, I'm gonna do a quick color ID map so I can um, add some bands here, okay? So we're gonna go into Injured S Loop again, uh, multiple and one, which will give us one here, and then we'll do one here, and we'll do one there. We'll hit Q on our keyboard, and let's see, the best way to do that, we're gonna select these two, go to Edit Mesh and Bevel, that looks pretty nice. All right, so we're gonna select these faces here, and Jump Views, select these, I want those to be white and I want the rest to be orange. Okay, let's make sure we get everything okay. All right, I'm gonna right click, assign new material. Let's go with the, it doesn't really matter. Let's do a Lambert. And we're just gonna give it a different color. It doesn't matter at all what color, as long as it's different, okay? All right. I'm gonna right click at object mode last time to check to make sure that we're happy with everything. Uh, I think I am. Maybe the base is a little bit big, so I'm just gonna quickly fix that. I'm gonna right click at a vertex. I'm gonna drag select all of these vertices, like so, and we're gonna hit R, and we're gonna bring that in just a little bit. All right, so now that I have that, right click object mode, gonna select it. We're gonna go to edit, delete by type history. We're gonna go to modify and freeze transformation. And then I'm gonna go to file, export selection, option box, and we'll take an OBJ right there. I'm gonna hit export selection. I'm gonna save that on my desktop and I'll call this Chrome OBJ and export selection. 
And now we're going to jump into Keyshot and texture this guy. Okay, guys, we're in uh, Keyshot. I'm going to go up to uh, File and Import. And on my desktop, I'm going to look for a cone. We're going to hit Open, Import, and there you go. And you can see that we have our uh, color ID map on this guy. So we're going to start by setting up a basic material. So I want something uh, that is a fairly hard material, but I also want it to be somewhat uh, reflective as we can um, dial that down if we need to. So we're going to go with the uh, shiny for now. We're going to take this default orange and I'm going to replace this with default white on the bands. And then we're going to go in and see what suits us best for our lighting conditions. You can see that we have a little reflection going on there and that is perfect. That's what I wanted. All right. So we're going to go in to our environment and uh, let's see, I'm going to use a backdrop first. We'll take the, actually we'll take this one, the light gray. Then we're going to go into our environment. We'll find something that has some nice lighting and uh, don't be fooled. We don't necessarily need an outdoor scene. We need something that will give us good lighting conditions. Okay. Now this looks quite nice. A lot of light going on as you can see. And I'm going to double click on that. And uh, let's see if we can bring down that refraction index a little bit. And as we do so, you can see that it becomes less reflective, which is good just thinking whether we need to give this some nice outdoor situation just to make it look better kind of construction site going on there let's see i'm going to go up to uh, lighting we're going to go to full simulation and then we're going to go back in and we're going to turn off caustics like that let's uh, play around with some settings here and let's see which one looks best well, our model looks quite large, as you can see, that's not ideal, but we'll set that up. Nah, we're just going to go with the studio, that's better. That way we don't have to worry about positioning and so forth. Okay, so I'm uh, liking this. Let's find a nice angle to put it in. We're going to look at our settings once again. We're going to go into render. Come on. We'll just give it a sec. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Okay. So I want uh, in the options, I want to use the maximum samples. Yeah, go away. And uh, let's see. I'm going to bring that up quite a bit. I got quite a lot of. Uh, capacity here for my system so you need to kind of figure out what you want and I'm gonna hit render okay see you guys in a sec well guys there you have it there's our uh, cone I uh, cleaned it up a little bit in Photoshop but besides that this is it so uh, hopefully it's useful for you guys in uh, scenes that you are going to create and uh, that said thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time bye Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.